Worker Co-ops Fund Themselves, Solve Equipment Crisis by Dylan Hatch and Adam Trott. Published by Grassroots Economic Organizing, April 24, 2023. The espresso machine's motor acted up on December 30th and completely failed three days later. Suddenly, all lattes and cappuccinos critical to the income of any cafe weren't possible for the worker and consumer-owned Flatiron Coffeehouse Co-op. This sudden loss of revenue was devastating, said co-founder and worker member Larissa Demos. Every day saw a 30% loss in sales and a noticeably different customer satisfaction level amid Flatiron's cozy, warmth-filled environment. Flatiron reopened in December of 2021 as a multi-stakeholder co-op in Bellows Falls, Vermont. We weren't sure who would assist us as a newer co-op, said Demos. Flatiron was particularly vulnerable because it is difficult for co-ops to secure loans without saddling one or two specific members with debt, creating inequity and unequal risk among members. Flatiron had an existing loan with Shared Capital Cooperative to finance their conversion. Shared Capital is a cooperative and community development financial institution that specializes in lending to cooperatives across the nation. Flatiron is one of 300 member co-ops at Shared Capital. Timing was of the essence, however, and with revenue drops came pressure to address the issue quickly. Demos contacted the Valley Alliance of Worker Cooperatives, VOC, a co-op association that supported their conversion. VOC is incorporated as a co-op of worker co-ops and supports its members' variety of activities, including startup and conversion support, marketing, and a loan fund. Flatiron is a member of VOC along with other worker cooperatives in western Massachusetts and southern Vermont. After contacting VOC about the espresso machine failure on January 2nd, Flatiron had an approved loan request and funding started processing on January 4th from board and staff. VOC is an investor at Shared Capital and sought to ensure a shared strategy to support Flatiron, despite the timing being very challenging. VOC connected with Flatiron's loan officer and built a shared plan on how to have Flatiron fully functional as quickly as possible. Flatiron kept their shared capital loan, and VOC made a direct loan from their fund for the espresso machine. VOC issued its loan and shared capital provided all the legal paperwork needed to reconcile the two loans for all parties. Grassroots economic organizing readers will recall VOC's intercooperative loan fund from a piece in 2019 about a loan to Collective Copies, a VOC founding member. VOC's fund is based on the Italian model, where all co-ops in Italy are required to give 3% of their surplus to a development fund. This financial instrument is part of building one of the largest co-op sectors in the world, with 79,000 co-ops employing 1.3 million people, earning 130 billion euros annually. VOX fund acts similarly, though on a smaller regional scale. All VOC members contribute 5% of their surplus to this shared asset. The fund lends up to $10,000 directly to members and currently has $40,000 invested in co-op funds. Revenue from the fund goes to educational scholarships for worker members and to assist in staff time. VOC member co-ops collectively own and control this fund, and it is part of VOC's mission of placing worker cooperators at the decision-making table for larger goals like co-op development, financing, legislation, marketing, and more. VOC's loan to Flatiron was their fourth direct loan to a co-op since it began in 2009. In addition to direct loans, the fund supported over 80 loans to co-ops last year through its investment in co-op funds. Members of Flatiron rejoiced on January 20th when an installed espresso machine poured its first shots and satisfying aromas met a re-energized community on a cold winter's day. Vox Intercooperative Development Fund shows that despite the competitiveness of the modern economy, the strength of one business can also be the strength of another. It just takes cooperation. Want to know more? Go to valleyworker.coop or email info at valleyworker.coop.